everyone, it's Abby from Abby Road Creations, and today I wanted to show you guys how to make your own little creepy spider for Halloween. So whenever I first wanted to learn this design, I had a bit of trouble finding like a nice tutorial on YouTube that actually went into good detail, had a clear picture and good, clear information on just how to do it. And so I thought I would do my own video and show you guys how I do this exact one right here with as much detail as I possibly can and some tips for manipulating the wire. So in order to do this design, we will be using a longer piece of wire than normal. We'll be using a 30 inch piece of wire. So if you're new to wire wrapping and you're not quite you know, familiar with handling long pieces of wire, you may want to start with a thinner wire than what I'm using just because thicker wires are even more frustrating to use when you're using longer pieces. So for this design, I'm using a 22 gauge, which is 0.6 millimeter, and I'll be using an eight millimeter bead here. This one is optional, but this is a four millimeter bead, okay? So for your tools, you will need your chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, wire cutters, a tape measure will help if you're if you have one. If not, it's all right. We can just eyeball it. And if you have needle nose pliers, you may need them at some point, but they're definitely not necessary. I think I just use it to squish one of the wire ends at the very end, and that's it. So, so yeah, everything's pretty basic for this tutorial. You don't really need any fancy tools, which is really cool. So to get started, we're gonna take that long piece of 30 inch wire. And we are just going to find the middle point. Now I just do this by kind of lining it up and then taking the approximate middle point. And the first step that we are gonna do in this design, we're gonna make a little circle here so we have a space to wrap the legs around and that'll eventually be the head of the spider. So in order to do this, we'll just grab those round nose pliers and then gently pinch. You never want to pinch too hard with your round nose pliers because it can create a dent and can also eventually make a weak spot if your wire is thin enough. Okay, so we're just going to pull one side then the other to bring the wire around and just make like a little loop. Okay. So the size of that, we just want it to be kind of proportionate to the body, which is eight millimeters. So I'd say if you want to measure this, I would aim to make this maybe four or five millimeters. Let me check just to make sure. Yeah, so the inside of this is about five millimeters. And now once we have this circle, and sorry if I'm out of frame during this video, working with this long piece of wire, it keeps bumping into my tripod. So I may be in and out, but I'll try my best to stay focused. So we'll grab our chain nose pliers, and where those two wires meet, you're just going to gently pinch and fold back. Do the same on the other side. Okay pinch and fold the wire back. That way the two wires are lined up and we'll be able to insert both of these into the hole of the larger bead that we're working with. All right, so go ahead and grab your eight millimeter bead and we are gonna thread both of these wires through the bead and slide it all the way down to that little circle. Okay, so to start forming the body of the spider, we are just gonna choose one side to go ahead and wrap around. And then this side, we're gonna go ahead and form a little loop. That way we can easily put our spider on a chain once we finish the design. So in order to do this, you can once again, grab your round nose pliers, 
I'm just gonna choose a spot and gently curve it. And then you can use your hands to pull that wire around to finish making the loop, okay? So we want to bring this wire around on the left-hand side. And then to finish the loop, we'll take our chain nose pliers, pinch it like this, which will hold everything in place. And we will just gently guide that wire around until it's back on the front. Right, so it's back on the front. And we can continue framing the bead with that wire. So here comes the tricky part. These extremely long wires that we have, we are gonna thread these into this teeny tiny hole, okay? So in order to do this, whenever you're working with long wires, the wire has a mind of its own. It's gonna tend to go in some type of direction that you don't really want it to go in. And the secret to wire wrapping is that you just have to give in, okay? Let the wire be the boss and you just kind of have to work with the curved shape that it's giving you, okay? So right now my wire is forming itself into a curve and I'm just gonna gently try to keep that curve as smooth as possible. Because if I try to bend it in another way, it's gonna get some weird little kinks and then I won't have a nice smooth wire anymore. Okay, you see how my wire is all curved? That's fine for right now. We're just gonna finish what we're doing by wrapping that up and through and then back out. And now I can pull my wire straight. All right, I hope you guys were able to manage that first part. If you need a few more minutes, feel free to take your time, pause the video here before you keep going, okay? This is where we're gonna start forming the legs. So I found out that about one inch is a good length for the legs. So go ahead and take your measuring tape and we'll measure about one inch from that little circle. Okay. Kind of grab your pliers where that one inch mark was. And then we are just going to fold that wire up. Okay, we're just making a little bend. Just like that. And once again, you're gonna thread that wire up and through the hole. Now the cool part about this is that the further along we get, the less annoying it gets because the wire gets shorter. So that's something to look forward to. <laughs> All right, so once you have it up and in, go ahead, we're gonna wrap it around one more time. Okay, just kind of work with that curve as much as you can. Once you get to this point here, the wire is gonna to start to get kind of hard. So what you can do to help pull it through without completely distorting your frame and everything, pinch the leg that you already have, and then you'll be able to more easily pull this and then guide with your fingers to kind of wrap it around. Or at least that's what I do. If you guys have any other tips, feel free to share it in the comments because I always love hearing those. All right, so we're back here. We are just gonna try and like line it up. Feel free to measure if you wanna keep measuring. I'm gonna eyeball it. Okay, make a little bend, fold it up, and find the end of the wire. So you can once again fold it through. You can see my wire is starting to get a bit hard and difficult to work with here. 
So you just kind of have to power through. It's part of wire wrapping is working with the problems with the wire. <laughs> All right. So continuing once again, I'm going to pinch that little leg to make sure everything stays in place. I'm going to thread it through the head one more time before I move on to the next leg. All right. I'm pinching because like this wire is getting hard here. So I'm just going to pull and wrap it around. Now don't worry about what these legs look like right now. I know they don't look at all like spider legs. They really won't look like spider legs until the very end. So don't freak out if you're worried about what it looks like right now. All right. So after this, we'll have one more leg and then we'll give him some little like claws around his mouth. And then we'll be done with this side. And you'll just repeat the exact same process. On the other side, feel free to take a breather if the wire is driving you crazy. <laughs> it happens. Okay, wrapping that around. And the last leg. Okay, so once you wrap it around the base of the head, one last time, the next thing we're going to do is give it these little, little pinchers right here. This is optional, but I think it kind of makes it look a, little, a bit more scary, which is cool. So for this, I don't really measure. You just kind of want to pick a short length, pinch, and it's the same thing. Just kind of fold it back. And then through the head one last time. Okay. We'll wrap it around one more time just to make sure everything is secure. And then this side will be done. And I will leave you guys to do the next side by yourselves. Feel free to rewatch this part of the video if you need to. And then we'll meet whenever we've done both sides of these legs and I'll show you guys how to finish this, all right? And we'll be almost done. All right, I'll see you soon. So now you should have something that kind of looks like a squash spider. So if this is the type of spider that you prefer because it's less scary, you're done. You can feel free to keep this. But if you want to reanimate your spider and bring it back to life, then go ahead and grab your chain nose pliers and we will start with the legs. All right, so what you're going to do is just pinch the end of these legs right here. And we are just going to start twisting the spider. And the magic twisting will bring this guy to life. Okay, so just twist it maybe five, six times until you get the legs to a length and also a tightness that you like for the twisting. You can always adjust this later, so don't worry. All right, let's move on to the next one. You just want to keep these all about the same. Okay, and just keep on working your way around the spider until all of the legs are twisted, okay? All right, this little guy is already looking better. So the next step we're going to do, we're going to work on his little pinchers, okay? So we are just going, if they're too round, go ahead and pinch it in a little bit. And then we are just going to kind of take these with our pliers and then just bend in like that, okay? And repeat this on the other side, make sure everything is kind of flat and then pinch 
and just bend in. Okay, now continuing with our pliers. And remember, if you're using plated wire, always be careful whenever you're doing these, fin these finishing touches so you don't scratch the wire. So with these little legs, we are gonna put them back into place just by bending them. Okay. One by one, just work your way down. And then continue on the other side. All right, he is looking good. Okay, so we have some options here. If you don't have that small bead, then this is what your spider is going to look like. If you want to use these wires in whatever design that you're going to be using this for, you can, or you can just kind of tuck these in and then clip them off and pinch everything in to make sure there's no sharp edges and your spider pendant will be finished. If you do have that little black bead and you want to add that on right here, then you also have some options. You can either keep one of these wires if you want to use it as a connector or to add some type of little gemstone hanging down, or I don't know, maybe you have a cool charm, um, then you can keep that. I am just going to clip it off, okay? So I'm just clipping off one of these. All right, let's see if I can get in there. Make sure I don't clip the wrong wire. <laughs> and there we go. And then this was just the rare occasion where I did use my needle nose pliers to kind of pinch that in. All right. And then this wire, I am just going to bend it straight back and add this little bead on there. Okay, so now that's on there. I'm just gonna pull it to one of these sides here. I'm going on the right-hand side. I'm gonna wrap it around on this little bubble butt and if it may be a bit of a tight fit, don't be afraid to pull a little bit. And what I like to do is kind of wrap it back around to frame the head in the same way that we frame the body. Okay. And then we'll wrap it, wrap, wrap, wrap. And I am just going to cut it off right here and tuck that in underneath the head so that sharp edge will be nice and hidden. And then just take my pliers and carefully tuck that guy in there. Okay, so if the leg has got a little squish during all that, that's all right. They are okay with moving. You can just bend them back into place. All right, adjust anything that you need to. All right, guys, here he is, our creepy little spider necklace. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'd love to see how you guys incorporate this in your own designs. Maybe you make some earrings. Maybe you add this to one of your gemstone necklaces. So feel free to share your thoughts and your photos with me on Instagram. And if you have any tips for the other wire wrappers out there to help with this tutorial, maybe I missed something, feel free to leave it in the comments below, okay? I love it when you guys share your thoughts with me. All right, guys, have an awesome afternoon, and I'll see you next time.